Are you fat? Are you struggling to lose weight? Are you in a position where you want to lose weight? Everyone's telling you lose weight, lose weight, lose weight. Start working out, start doing this, start doing that. Get in shape, but you have no idea what to do. After watching this video, you will know how to get in the best shape of your life in three easy steps. Now, before I get into it, I just want you guys to know that I've been skinny. I've been fat. I've been skinny fat. I've been through all phases. And the best phase to be is to be in shape, bro. You feel the best when you're in shape. You get the most respect when you're in shape. And you just feel better about yourself when you're in shape. So anyone watching this, bro, start going to the gym. Start eating right and start taking better care of yourself. Let's get it. Now, <clears throat> the first part, bro, first step out of the three steps is food, your diet. This is the most important step. You need to eat better. You need to eat real food. Put down the cookies, put down the chips, put down the cupcakes, put down the banana pudding and pick up some fruits, pick up some vegetables, pick up some meat real foods you want whole foods fruit vegetables meat f b m your diet your meals throughout the day should consist of f b m right fruit you snack on the fruit whenever you're hungry right whenever you're hungry throughout the day and you get that feeling of hunger you find your fruit and you eat whatever fruit it is you want second vegetables and meat f e m vegetables pair the meat with the vegetables whatever you eat for dinner have vegetables and have meat meat i suggest chicken right that's lean protein ground beef i love ground beef i love ground turkey <clears throat> i love fish you know what i'm saying pair those with some veggies and you're good now stop eating the bullshit bro stop eating the bullshit stop drinking the bullshit all the foods that you know are bad for you stop eating them now i can't lie i can't sit here and act like i don't eat cupcakes i don't eat cookies i don't eat sweets i eat sweets i just do it in moderation you have to be eating cleaner than you are eating dirty. I call this the 80-20 rule. Some people go 90-10, but 80-20 is more sustainable. 80% of the time you eat clean, but that 20%, that's when you have your fun. That's when you have your cheat meal. That's when you have your cheat snack. Now, don't get it confused. Don't ever do a cheat day. A cheat day throws off way too much progress. Always go with the cheat snack. I'd rather you have one cheat snack a day than for you to have a whole cheat day because then you're just throwing off your whole progress for the week, right? More of the story, eat real foods. Next thing, portions. If you're trying to lose weight, grab a smaller plate. If you're trying to lose weight, grab a smaller plate. You don't need a big ass plate, right? Because I know you, bro. You're gonna clear the plate. You're gonna clear the plate. You have no self-control. So get a smaller plate. That way, you're not eating as much. But pretty much portion control is just you eating less, eating less. You need to eat foods with fiber. I eat apples, apples have fiber. Different foods have fiber. Find a food that has fiber and eat that because you're going to feel fuller for longer. Portions, portions, eat smaller portions. Break your meals up. You don't need to be eating a big ass portion if you're trying to lose weight, bro. If you're trying to lose weight, eat smaller portions. Next thing, my favorite part, because you know me, I'm a personal trainer. Exercise, bro, you need to exercise. Cardio, incorporate cardio, bro. Whatever it is you like to do that keeps you moving, do it. If you like to dance, dance. If you like to play basketball, play basketball. Play football. Go on walks. Go for runs. Just move. Move your body, bro. That's what cardio is all about. Just moving. Any kind of movement that you need to do, bro, just move. Move your body, bro. You need to do cardio. My personal favorite form of cardio would definitely be running. I like to run. I actually joined a run club. So if you're watching this, you have a run club in your area, or you have a group of people you can run with, even if you run with yourself, I highly suggest for you to start running. Or if you like playing basketball, bro, go play basketball. Just move, move. Next thing, strength training. Because while you're losing weight, you're gonna wanna put on muscle. You're gonna wanna see your biceps, see your triceps, and be strong, bro. You know what I'm saying? So while you're losing weight, while you're running, while you're doing your cardio, while you're doing your jumping jacks, while you're doing your jump rope, you're doing cardio, also strength training. Do push ups, do dips, do pull ups. Work your way into the weights. Once you get to the weights, progressive overload. So once the weight becomes easy, you're curling 15s, you're curling 20s. That's when you go to 25. That's when you go to 30. And you keep working your way up, right? The next thing is just staying active, bro. Stay active. Move throughout the day. Get up. If you work a job where you're sitting at a desk, bro, get up and move. Move. Be active. Find different ways to get active, bro. 
but exercise, exercise. And with exercising, people always ask, when do I eat? Now, to answer this question, me personally, in the morning, I do fasted cardio, which is pretty much I don't eat anything in the morning until after I work out. After I work out, I have my first meal, right? I have my first meal after I work out. And that meal usually contains eggs, which is protein. Then I might go with some meat, but pretty much most of the time it's eggs. I go three eggs because that's just me, like for my calorie maintenance. But try some eggs. Eggs are good. Eggs after you work out, I highly suggest. And I go eggs in the smoothie usually. Smoothies are really good. Instead of drinking that bullshit juice or that bullshit soda, drink a smoothie. Drink some water. But first meal, I eat after I work out. I do snack throughout the day, but I snack on fruits. I snack on apples. That's my favorite snack. Then for lunch, I have some kind of meat. Like yesterday I had chicken. And then at night, I had chicken again. So I eat after I work out, pretty much. Eat after you work out. Eat after you work out. If you want to eat before you work out, eat something small. But after you work out, that's when you want to eat. That's when you want to eat your protein, bro. So it goes straight to your muscles. Next thing, bro. Last but not least, your habits. How are you living, dog? How are you living? If you're sitting down playing the game all day, bro, you're wondering why you're fat. Do the math, buddy. Because when I was fat, that's what I was doing. I was sitting down, playing the game, eating Doritos, eating pizza, just sitting there chilling. Stop doing that, bro. Stop setting yourself up for failure. Go outside. Go live. Be healthy. Hydrate. Drink water. Your body is 70% made up of water. You need to drink water in order to survive, bro. Hydrate. Drink water. The more water you drink, the clearer your skin's going to be, the better you're going to feel, and you're going to feel fuller because you're going to realize you're not hungry, you're thirsty. So start drinking water. Get quality sleep. You wake up and you feel like shit, it's because you're not sleeping. You wake up and you have no energy to go throughout your day because you're not sleeping. Right. Get sleep. Stop eating right before you go to sleep. That's the reason why you can't sleep. Eat two hours before you go to sleep. Let's say you go to sleep at 8, eat at 6. If you go to sleep at 10, eat at 8. But stop eating right before you go to sleep. That's dumb. You eat for energy. You eat for fuel. If you're fueling your body up and then you're going to sleep, it doesn't make sense. Stop eating before you go to sleep. And last but not least, progress pictures. Take progress pictures just to show yourself how far you've gotten. Because after watching this video, if you don't lose weight, then just hit me up, bro. Because we can get into some coaching, bro. I have a program where I help people lose weight. I help people get in the best shape for their lives. So if you're interested in joining, drop a comment. Hit me up on Instagram, and I'll see you. Deuce. Take them progress pictures and send them to me. When you take your progress pictures, tag me on Instagram and post them because I will repost them. And I'm always proud of you. Be proud of yourself. Keep working on yourself. And I'll see you. Peace.